In Tanzania, where people and wildlife share the same landscape, human-elephant conflicts pose a significant challenge. As elephants search for water and food, they can unintentionally disrupt agricultural fields and settlements, causing substantial economic losses for local communities. Finding solutions to this problem is vital for fostering peaceful coexistence. That's where Wild Survivors, an organization dedicated to protecting elephants and reducing human-elephant conflicts, steps in. They've introduced a creative and natural solution, bees, the elephant's least favorite creatures. By strategically placing beehives connected by wire barriers between the crops and the wilderness, Wild Survivors has created an effective deterrent. When an elephant tries to cross these barriers, the disturbed beehives send bees swarming, preventing the elephants from entering human settlements or farmland. For the past three years, Wild Survivors has partnered with Sensing Clues to better understand optimal locations for these beehive fences and to assess their effectiveness. We recently visited them to see the progress and impact of this innovative approach firsthand. Yeah, welcome Judith uh, to Kitete village. Um, this is actually the boundary of the two villages between Kitete and Upper Kitete. This is where we normally um, do our project of data collection on the fence. Normally our big guardians uh, normally use the, the Krui phone to patrol along yes. the fence, coding the number of crop raids okay. uh, and where they have uh, taken place. They normally record uh, um, which animal has broken the fence, mm -hmm. at what time, whose farm, what yes. crops, type of destruction, and all those stuff they, which are, we have uh, instructed them to do. So you receive the data eh, from them? And, yes. And then what do you do with it once you see it? Yeah, once you receive, uh, we receive the data, we now analyze. Uh, we actually analyze in terms of how many crop rates have taken place uh, yes. within this month. Okay. And then we are able to compare uh, do these crop raids happen uh, where there is a uh, fence already or there yeah. is no fence? Because they normally patrol the whole stretch. Also, so also when there's no fence, yeah, they still patrol? where there's no fence and yeah. where there's, off, there's fence. So that we are able to compare where do many crop raids happen between where it is fenced and where it is where not, not fenced. fenced. Yes. Yeah. So at the end of the month, you are able to draw your graph. And what do you think? Does it work? Yeah, it works actually. It is simple. It is saved time. Yeah, wonderful. Actually, wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. That's very good to hear. Yeah, thank you very much, actually. <laughs> this was a video of Wild Survivors and Sensing Clues. Visit our websites if you want to work with us or if you want to support us financially. Together, we turn wild spaces into safe havens.